there are calls for taking a second look at the origin of the COVID virus. And again, people are saying that it should be looked at from what happened in a lab in Wuhan. Why do these things keep coming up again and again? The answer for this is that it is hard to say definitively that it came from one place unless you go to the bottom of the matter and turn out and make sure that there is conclusive proof that it was indeed from a particular place. So where is COVID supposed to have originated? Many say that it may have come from a market in Wuhan where animals are uh, you know, usually trade, uh, sold, but there, and, and that it was, again, from um, bats and so on and so forth. But this research has been uh, questioned and people have not been able to counter rebut that. So the fact that uh, the, the COVID came from the bats has been discounted quite thoroughly. Also looking at the protein cells about and looking at the size of the virus itself, it did not seem to suggest that it was something that was normal because it was 20 times the size of a normal virus. So we know all these things now, but why now people are again asking that it needs to have a second look? Well, for one thing, uh, Dr. Burks, who you used to see along with Dr. Fauci in the White House briefings on the COVID virus, also now is beginning to have doubts. In fact, in one of her interviews, she said that she had her doubts even while they were trying to explain what was going on. Now, this is where things get really interesting. What did Dr. Fauci know and when did he know? What did Dr. Burks know and when did she know? So these are all questions that, of course, they'll not answer them because it's very convenient to kind of take a dodgy position. What is also interesting is a statement by the ex- CDC director Robert Redfield, who said that when he expressed his doubts about the origin of the virus and that it might have come from a lab in Wuhan, he got death threats. And some of them came from his own scientific community. So see, this is where the questions start coming. Is somebody beholden to a certain country? Was definitely China was trying to underplay it. In fact, China went so far to say that Wuhan may have come from the frozen food that it imports from other countries. So, and, and again, even today, people are saying that that too should be explored. The question there is, if it came from other countries, then wherever it came from, that country should have also seen a big spike in COVID. But that did not happen. Here's another interesting data point. WHO now wants to take a real look at the entire thing, especially if the virus came out of a lab in Wuhan. Now, you have to remember that there is a power struggle going on in China. Xi, anti-Xi. Xi Jinping has staked his reputation on being able to battle COVID and he came out with zero COVID strategy. Unfortunately for him, that has worked in the first few versions or first few variants of COVID. But now with Omicron, that is not working. This Omicron is really, really defying his attempts to try and keep the zero COVID policy in place. Shanghai has been locked down for two, three months. They're slowly opening it up, but still many teething problems remain. As far as the economy of China is concerned, in a big mess. Now we're also seeing a run on some of the banks and people protesting in the streets. Tanks have come to the streets to try and prevent people from going and withdrawing cash. All this is happening now. And you also see that people are demanding whether the COVID virus indeed originated from a lab in uh, Wuhan. Now, we also have to uh, factor in one other data point, which is that US Intel said three scientists who were working in the lab at Wuhan fell sick in November 2019 and had to be hospitalized. So even as we say that, okay, this is what happened, there are others who are saying, wait a minute, these things happen all the time. You, you know, researchers do go to a uh, hospital to get treated for flu-like symptoms and so on and so forth. It comes with the job, that sort of explanation. The most important takeaway from this is, even as people say that, you know, COVID has originated from Wuhan and not from the meat market, the proof 
and the permanent cure for this can only be arrived at after it is established exactly where the source was and then you have to go back and see how it started so that you can have a conclusive way to tackle this the vaccines that are there so far they have been you know okay but as the virus mutates into newer variants how good or how effective a vaccine is going to be remains to be seen thanks for watching please like share and subscribe to our channel and don't forget to click on the bell button for notifications if you liked our research we have got a whole bunch of links in our references section in the description and you can go and click on those things to get an even more even more in-depth uh, appreciation of what we have presented once again thank you and namaskar